Hi, my name is Kate Phillips. I am a cataloger here at the library at the Vermont Historical Society. Today I'm going to show you um, an assortment of objects from a small manuscript collection um, here at the library. Um, and this collection relates to an invention by a Montpelier resident um, by the name of Sylvanus Baldwin. Sylvanus Baldwin um, was kind of a jack of all trades. Um, he was responsible for building the first state house of Vermont, which opened in 1808. He also designed the Red Arch Bridge over the Winooski in Montpelier. And he also responded to a decree um, sent out by Napoleon, who was then the emperor of France. Um, and we have this decree right here. The decree offers one million francs to anyone in the world who can build a better machine for spinning thread of flax and come to France with the machine fully built at its full scale in working order and demonstrate for a jury how it spins thread. So Baldwin partners with a few other um, residents of Montpelier, Josiah Parks and Alicia Town, and builds this machine. And we have here a diagram of the machine and it has a little bit of a description on the, the back of how it works, but we also have a very detailed outline of the specifications of the machine that presumably he submitted along with the actual physical machine itself. So we know that Baldwin traveled to Paris. We have Baldwin's receipts from changing money to local currencies. We have also his passport from his travels. We have a permit from the French police for him to, to stay in Paris. And we also have things that he collected while he was in France. And that includes a copy of a newspaper that talks about the beginning of the jury review of the competition and an example of a French patent. So we know that Baldwin wanted to patent this machine in France. So presumably he was looking at this as sort of a model of the French patent format. So we don't know a whole lot more about what actually happened in Paris. We have a letter from Baldwin from 1813 really pleading with the head of the jury to come and look at his um, invention because he's getting really anxious about the fact that the War of 1812 is really in full swing and he writes about this fear of getting captured by the English should he leave any later than that date. We know that that plea was unsuccessful and Baldwin leaves before the machine is reviewed by the jury. Uh, he leaves it in possession of an acquaintance of his who continues to work on the machine and really um, perfect it. He writes back about some of the mechanical changes that he's made to the machine to create finer and finer flax thread. Um, but he also writes about how he's been completely unsuccessful at getting it in front of the jury. He, he writes about this until 1815, um, and that's the kind of last we hear of um, this effort to get this machine in front of the eyes of Napoleon's government. I have not yet been able to figure out who won this competition. Um, a lot more research uh, should be done on this really interesting story. This collection speaks in really interesting ways um, to uh, Vermonters' relationship with the wider world. Um, it speaks to um, Vermonters' kind of early travel um, internationally and participation in international commerce. It speaks to innovation and ingenuity within Vermont. And I think it would be a fantastic collection for further research. Thanks for joining us. Remember to follow the Vermont Historical Society on social media and visit us at vermonthistory.org.